To know the nature of mind as bright, clear, stable and wide open is just the greatest of good fortune. To recognize in our own experience that what is looking, this capacity to know, always on, always clear, always available, and always with the capacity to know exactly what to do in each time, place and circumstance. And all we need to do to access that is to take a short moment of allowing the flow of our experience, the stream of data, just to be as it is. So, so simple and such a relief and completely clarifying and empowering. So the simple instruction here and the simple invitation is just to take a short moment, and you can test it right now, of just allowing yourself to be exactly as you are. So whatever you're thinking, just allow your thoughts to be whatever they are. Whatever you're feeling, allow your feelings and emotions to be as they are. Physical sensations, twitches and twinges in the body, or gurglings in the stomach, whatever it is for you right now, just allow it to be as it is, without needing to go into uh, further elaborations or descriptions about it. Just rest naturally for a short moment and recognize the brightness of what's looking, inseparable from whatever it is that you're experiencing in this current moment. And in that recognition, first of all, there's a great relief in that I don't need to do anything about anything that's appearing. And this is just such a radical shift. Because previously my whole life was spent doing something about what was appearing. Constantly monitoring my thoughts and my feelings and my experiences, my physical sensations. You know, what, what's going on for me now? Am I happy now? Do I agree with what's being said? You know, do I feel comfortable now? Would I be feel more comfortable somewhere else or with other people? Or and, and constantly trying to manage my experience to make it look in a particular way so that I could feel comfortable. And when I look back now I can see that there were moments of comfort and enjoyment and the rest of the time was a kind of, to varying degrees of desperation, a search for that feeling of being at ease with myself, of feeling happy with my life, of enjoying where I was and appreciating the people that I was spending time with. But those moments were very few and far between and the rest of it was always looking for that feeling, looking for that sense of satisfaction. And I looked for it in so many different places. And um, to then be introduced to the reality of that recognition of open intelligence, just stopping thinking, recognizing this alertness, this cognizance, the capacity to know, again and again and again. These short moments of just allowing everything to be as it is and recognizing in my own experience what's looking. And um, I was just thinking this morning, it's, it's so funny for me that I spent so many years living my life completely caught up in the descriptions about what was going on. You know, for decades and decades and decades, you know, thinking about this, having this experience, thinking about that, feeling this, what does that feeling mean? Just this whole world of descriptions, completely immersed in it, totally focused on it. And yet for all of those years, not for once, really recognizing what is it that's experiencing all of this? What is it that feels all of this? What is it that's thinking? What is it that, that has this capacity to experience everything? And so in this introduction of really just giving myself this opportunity to recognize what's looking, and when I do that, when I stop, when I stop the describing just for a short moment, and I try to find what's looking, I can't find anything. All I find is this complete openness. And that's actually such a relief because I don't need to understand it. I don't need to work it out. I can simply relax as it. 
And first of all, that's a relief. I can just relax and be me. I don't need to try and work out how to be me or what that me should look like or what that me should be feeling or thinking or sensing or experiencing or how other people should be seeing me or what's this identity I need to create and then present to the world. I can just let all of that drop completely just for a short moment just for an instant of stopping that describing, stopping that efforting of trying to get somewhere or be someone or be something. And that was such a relief for me. It was just, um, it was just great because I put so much time and effort into that project, that, that me project. And um, so first of all there was that sense of, of relief of actually I, I can just be me as I am. That all of these thoughts, emotions and sensations they are the self-appearances of this intelligence, of this mind. And when I recognize that instinctively and directly with each one, so for example, um, it's so hard to think, what, 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 what's happened this morning? Um, I know, jumping into the sea this morning and it was quite cold. That's a good example of a really strong physical sensation. and. Um, just enjoying that as it was, just enjoying that feeling of, of the coldness and being able to relax and not get caught up in lots of descriptions about what was going on or the fears I might have about swimming in the sea in the ocean that might come up here or anywhere, that I can allow those to be as they are too. And that everything is this call to relaxation, everything is this call to the recognition that it is open intelligence, it is this dynamic display of open intelligence and nothing needs to be done about it. And so the first thing is the relief that's recognized from that, the relief that I don't need to manage my wild and unpredictable thoughts and feelings and emotions. I can just allow them to be as they are and enjoy this spaciousness of mind. But for me this was so new, it was so different, well how do I do that? That sounds great but how do I do that? You do it for a short moment, just an instant of allowing everything to be as it is. And again, you can just repeat that now. Whatever you're thinking, feeling or experiencing right now, allow it to be as it is. Stop making more elaborate descriptions about it and recognize what's looking, the brightness of mind, the brilliance of your intelligence, which is actually illuminating your current experience. It is what allows you to experience whatever you're thinking, feeling or sensing right now. And then to repeat that recognition just in a very natural way as you go throughout your day. So it's so simple, it's the, um, it's the instantaneous meditation that you can take with you throughout your day. You don't need to sit on a cushion. If you want to sit on a meditation cushion you can do that and you can take short moments there. You can take short moments when you're playing frisbee on the beach. You can take short moments when you're eating your lunch. You can take short moments when you're sat on your own and feeling happy and then feeling lonely the next minute. You can take a short moment when you're arguing with your partner. And each time that you take this short moment and recognize that whatever you're experiencing is inseparable from this wide open spaciousness of mind, everything changes. The perspective completely changes and you give up this habit of victimhood. And the victimhood is really believing that these thoughts, emotions and sensations, this stream of data, have the power to inform the way that you act and the way that you speak and the way that you are in the world. And instead, when you rely on open intelligence, that openness that is actually who we are informs the way that you speak, the way that you relate and the way that you are in the world. And when you come and you spend time with people who are also relying on open intelligence, then that openness is something that's very easy to recognize because it's who we are. We're simply recognizing in other people our own nature. But it can also be very supportive. And so after this introduction I was really intrigued and I tested out these short moments and was amazed by the results and so I continued to test them. But then there were some things that just seemed like um, they just had such a strong grip on me and I was so used to reacting in certain ways, in certain relationships, to certain things that 
um, it, it felt like, well, I, I just can't take a short moment here. And so after I'd been involved with the training for a little while, I decided that I wanted to take it further. And this is what I found in Balanced View that I'd never found anywhere else, was this support system that was available for me to decide how far do I want to take this. And it was very obvious to me that I wanted to take this all the way. I don't want to behave as if I'm a victim to any of my data, to any of my thoughts, emotions and sensations. I've had enough of it. I, I don't want to live my life in that way. I really don't. And so there's this incredible offering that just is available in so many different ways and everybody uses in their own unique way. And um, there's so much available on the website, just free talks and media and books and you can listen to those in your own time. And then there are these written trainings that, that the texts are so precise, they are like works of art where the exact nature of reality, the exact nature of mind is confirmed again, again and again in precise, clear and beautiful language. And just reading these texts makes that nature of mind and nature of reality obvious. And so I began to participate in more trainings and it became more obvious in my own experience. Th this is amazing. What I've been reading about in books for years is now becoming my own direct experience. I'm beginning to relax and really enjoy my life rather than chasing after ideas of what enjoyment should look like. I'm just enjoying wherever I am. I have a smile on my face, whatever is going on for me. And to find that becoming the case for me in my own life, it's just remarkable. Having deeper and deeper and clearer and clearer insights into the nature of reality. Understanding all the great books that I always enjoyed reading, but not from a intellectual perspective, but from a lived direct experience. Seeing the changes in relationship that, uh, as was mentioned, that the 12 empowerments just, um, just shifted my perspective on the way that I relate to everything. Myself, my family, my friends, my colleagues, my thoughts, my emotions, my sensations, to a, just a radical, a radically different perspective that perspective of complete openness where actually I can see everything clearly for what it is and in that clear seeing the threat and the promise from those thoughts and emotions and experiences it just settles out, it just evens and opens up and then I can simply live my life and enjoy my life and contribute to the relationships that I do have in the way that I always wanted to but somehow my thoughts and my emotions always seem to get in the way. You know, wanting to be a good partner and a good son and a good brother and, and yet, you know, the irritation or the anger or the disappointment or the expectations or something would always get in the way. But now knowing the nature of what all of those thoughts and emotions are, the dynamic energy of open intelligence and directly recognizing that when they do come up with this, with this support that I found was essential for me, then I see that I have nothing to fear that in any relationship and I am empowered to face each relationship from that perspective of completely relaxed openness and trust in that and to and know that I will know what to do and what to say in each, each time, place and circumstance. That's incredible. This is the power of our mind for each one of us. No, nobody excluded. We all have the same capacity.